and we're back for the second half of the week daily vlog style and Biggie and I are out for a walk aren't we Biggie out for a walk but where we're really heading is up to the neighborhood vet so here we go Nothing is better than a bone after a visit to the vet. Happy Thursday. I don't know if Mark opened the vlog yet or not, but Biggie just got back from the vet and she kind of got a bad report. She's a little overweight, so no more treats and cheeseburgers from McDonald's. We're going to be working on her diet. We're all going to be working on our diet and fitness routines in the new year. I think COVID hit us all in the gut. How huh, bakes? How huh, bakes? Huh? You have to go lose some weight. <laughs> so I don't think she quite realizes yet, but she's going to be changing dog foods and getting less treats. And we're gonna help her lose some weight. So he's okay, huh? Did you have to get some shots today too? She had to get her routine shots today. <laughs> She's very tired. It's nice that we have the vet in our neighborhood so we can just walk her to her appointments now. <laughs> but I think she's ready to just snuggle and take naps all afternoon. <laughs> she is so worn out. What do you think, Biggs? Oh, you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to go get my workout in for the day. And I'm going to get our vlog, our, like, vlog that was supposed to go up on Monday, <laughs> finally edited and up today. So that that's done. And then I've got a busy afternoon of work things, and I've got a busy day tomorrow of work things, so. Oh, wish I could just snuggle you all day, Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into the day. Well, it's Thursday night. Taco Thursday? <laughs> this is gonna be like a running theme in our weekly vlogs. But it's like, there's always a night we cave and get tacos. Yeah. And today it's Taco Thursday. Today it's Thursday. So we're enjoying some tacos, but it was really good. I got guacamole instead of queso. So I'm trying to make some healthier choices. Mm -hmm. And we're watching Won't You Be My Neighbor on Stars through our mm -hmm. Hulu subscription. Cause we've never seen it and it's been on my list to watch for a long time. Cause we're big Mr. Rogers fans. All right, well, we just decided to binge all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were going to stop after we ate dinner, but yeah, couldn't was, stop watching that one, could we? It was good. It was sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, Mr. Rogers always makes me cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think it, like, reminds me, I just watched a lot of that show growing up with my mm -hmm. mom, and... My mom just really like loves Mr. Rogers and she always cries anytime she reads like a Mr. Rogers quote or anything. And I think now yeah. that I'm grown and have a kid of my own, I understand why my mom gets so emotional. It just makes me wonder like what the world would be like if he was still here. Like yeah. everything we're going through right now in society, like I just would love to hear the wisdom of Mr. Rogers. Well, and I think that's that's why he came back. I mean, he was off the show for a little while. Yeah, he, he came, took he like came, a break. He came back because he knew in the In real life, and, like, yeah. yeah, he had taken a break when his, his boys were like getting older. And then he said like when they got to be teenagers, they just realized like there's still so much more that he could do and that parents needed and that love that kids needed, so. And there's so know. much more that we need today. Yeah, so, he just like he has such a powerful a message. Gaping hole. Such a powerful message of just like unconditional love and yeah, yeah, just like being patient and being 
kind. Understanding your feelings and how to deal with your feelings, mm -hmm. talk about your feelings, I mean, handle your the feelings. The importance of saying I love you, which is something that we've always done. Like mm -hmm. that's always been like a big part of our like relationship, I think. And then especially with Wally, like we just yeah. say I love you all, all the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Love you. If you haven't seen that movie yet, maybe make sure you got the <laughs> tissues handy. Yeah. Yeah. Or so, a good glass of wine, both. It Have just reminded all. us again, like, why we say at the end of all of our videos that we love you just the way you are. Mm -hmm. Because it's very true. And now we're going to go before we cry again. <laughs> Oh, Biggie wants in on the action. <laughs> Get it. Happy Friday! I'm sure you just saw a little bit of our dance party, but we did another Disney trivia on Friday night. So this theme was villains, and I sucked it up. Yeah. I was not good at villains We're trivia. Not fans of villains. Yeah, honestly. apparently I do not pay close enough attention to anything that the villains do in any Disney movie, but I did end up in 39th place. I was pretty steadily in like 68th of 84 teams like the whole time, but I got the last question right, which was worth a thousand points. So that like bumped me up because not very many people got it right, but it was very hard. But next week is 90s Disney trivia. So definitely gonna do that one. And I won the ear contest. I showed off some of my DIY Disney ears and these were the ones that won it. The Light Up Made Marion ears. So I get a free game next week, which was so cool. So it was a lot of fun. And to be honest, I was super crabby. <laughs> so my we subscribed to, we've had- You um, subscribed to Apple One. Yeah, we subscribed to Apple One. So we've had Apple TV free for the last year and we love it but that subscription was running out, so we just decided to do the whole like Apple One, so it's Apple Music and Apple Fitness and Apple, Apple News. News and Apple TV. And our iCloud account. And our iCloud account, it gives you like two, two gig? No, two, two terabytes, terabytes two of terabytes, storage. Yeah. So it's well worth it for the price because we were already paying for cloud storage through Apple and we would have had to start paying for our Apple TV subscription. But <laughs> somehow the Apple yeah. Cloud they have not fixed the foo bar of your music subscription. So when we like synced it with Apple Music, it like ate my YouTube music playlist that I have. And I have all the songs that I've downloaded from uh, Epidemic Sound. I don't know if that's how you say it. That's how I say it. Uh, but I have all my music in there that I use for the vlogs. And it ate the playlist. Like it kept saying it was in the cloud. And so I couldn't get it on my computer. And every time I told it, to take it out of the cloud, it wouldn't do anything. And so then it wasn't coming through to iMovie to easily import it for editing. So then I tried to like turn off cloud syncing. At my suggestion. Per Mark's troubleshooting yeah. advice. <laughs> and it just ate the whole playlist. So then I had to like rebuild it all by finding all of those songs in my iTunes library, which is not the easiest thing to do because they weren't like tagged necessarily with epidemic sound so i just had to go through basically every song i've purchased or downloaded in the last three years two years three years and add it back to the playlist now i have a lot of cleanup to do but i've been wanting to go through and like tag all of our music but it's really hard to do like i want to tag it with like <laughs> mark's working on dishes i want to tag it with like like the vibe of the song but then also like I don't know what did we call it like kind of the like seasonality the or seasonality, like theme also, like, the type of clips you would use it with. yeah so, so it's like really hard to like listen to a song and think like 
how would I use this in a vlog? And then what would I name it as? But a lot of times I'm editing and I'm like, oh, I just need something that's kind of like happy and like upbeat and like strolly. So then I'm like trying to find things based on genre. So, but I have like 700 songs that I've downloaded that I have to try and figure that out. So I took, I did the math, divided it. If I took like five seconds a song, mm -hmm. I think I could get it done in like an hour, maybe two hours. Oh good, it's better than 10 days. Yeah, so we'll see. I don't know, but I was really, really crabby because I was gonna get the vlog edited and try and be like super on task and I had time to do it this afternoon and then I spent like two and a half hours troubleshooting this issue and then I wasn't doing so good in trivia and I forgot a key ingredient in our dinner tonight but it all worked out and Mark Mark made codfish codfish cocktails <laughs> so that was that was happy and cheered us up and dinner actually was pretty delicious even though I forgot to put the coconut flour in the meatballs they still tasted really good so happy Friday I'm ready for the weekend and yeah I think we're just gonna work on a bunch of organization projects so it was nice to have a little dance party and get in a better mood I'm definitely feeling much happier all right, well now it is project time. We are gonna put together this three cube storage unit that we got, and we got it in white. So we're actually gonna swap the one that we have in our bathroom with this one, and put the maple wood one that we have in our bathroom into the game closet ah! to get all the rest of these games in there. <laughs> Daddy's got the power tools. <laughs> Let's build something. All right, the game cabinet is all organized now and everything fits. We got all of Wally's games down lower, so now he can access those. And then this whole stack is all Disney themed games. So all the different like versions of things that we have that are Disney and the ones that are just like Disney games are all in a row. And now that that project's done, we're gonna do a celebratory round of oh. what game are we gonna play, Wally? Go fish. Go Everyone fish. Go in here. Yes. And I pry it off yeah. the baby one. Show us how you open it, Wally. Is, I pry it off the baby one. Wally has taught us he knows how to open the baby lock. So that ship has sailed. But yes, this is even more games that we have. These are all the card games and dice games. We have a lot of games. And we even have a whole basket full of card games over here. All right, well, before we go to bed, we wanted to do a little bit of yoga. So we're gonna do a quick 10 minute PM yoga and a 10 minute core yoga exercise before we call it a night. Happy Saturday! It's a little chilly out here today. <laughs> it's cold. 38 degrees. Somebody wanted to go for a walk. Wanted to go for a walk. And somebody wanted to go for a land speeder ride. So we're getting in some steps, I guess you could say, and freezing all the way. But we've been having a pretty productive Saturday so far. I got up super early with the dog and got the vlog edited so that's gonna go up tomorrow so we'll have all of this last week published and then we'll be going into this new week try and get this vlog up on tuesday is my goal so we'll see how that goes and we've gotten a couple little organization projects done and i think we're gonna head home and tackle the crafting corner i haven't quite decided 
I might completely change my mind on the plan for today. You off-roading it? In a land speeder? Yeah. I don't think I don't think the speeder goes up the hill there, bug. Alright. <laughs> Mommy's embracing your guys' suggestion to get in her daily exercise by chasing Wally around. I think she's a zombie. He's running from zombies. Oh no. That's a good workout. <laughs> All right, well, we are back from our walk and we are sufficiently cold. <laughs> Wally's having some hot cocoa. But while we were out, we stopped and got the mail and we had some packages waiting when we got home. So we've got the rest of the things that I had outstanding from some orders. I'd put in a big Shop Disney order for a bunch of box swaps that I have coming up to get some things. And then of course I got just a couple little things for myself. So I just wanted to show you the one little thing that I had picked up for myself from Shop Disney. And while these masks came from Old Navy and Mark got himself something super cool. So I couldn't resist getting this little teacup, the Dormouse Wishables for myself because the Mad Tea Party teacups is one of my favorite rides in the park and we collect the Wishables, but we really just collect like the park attraction inspired Wishables. So really excited that I could get this. They were all sold out of the mystery ones. So I'm still hoping to get my hands on some of those, but the teacup itself with the little Dormouse was too cute to resist. And then Wally's little Pokemon mask that I ordered from Old Navy finally came. And I think they're going to be the perfect size. And they're just a really nice soft fabric. So these will just be nice to have in the car for like a quick mask when we're running in somewhere. And then this was the super cool thing that Mark ordered for himself. So he's in a bunch of different like SpaceX and NASA Facebook groups. And this is one of the people that's in the group. It, they have a t-shirt shop called Launch Life. Mm -hmm. And they did a Bob and Doug Lego inspired t-shirt. So he had to get it for himself because everybody loves Bob and Doug. All right, so a little organization project that Mark did earlier today. He installed this little like it's basically like a desk caddy, but we wanted to have something just to have all of our filming equipment a little bit cleaner down here because we store all of our gimbals and our tripods and all the things, all the charging things down here so that it's like accessible and, and, and ready to go. So he got that all organized today. So it looks a lot nicer. We have this little like desk in our kitchen that we really use more as like a wine bar and like a charging center and, and a repair pile. <laughs> so all the things, one yeah, one that one. one's broken. So anytime a little toy gets broken, and it gets put into the repair broken. pile. Yeah. Did it broken the the monorail? Yeah, you're always breaking the monorail. It's usually in the repair pile like once a month. So I think that looks really nice. All right, and dad got all these baskets installed here in the office, which looks really good. I think that's just gonna be a really nice way for us to keep like projects and things that we're in the middle of up and off the desk. So I really like how that looks. And then we have these little wooden shelves that we want to install. Um, so they look like this. You can do like a long one um, or you can do them as like three separate ones. So I think what we're gonna do, because we already have all this artwork up, I think we're just gonna install them like under each of these photo frames, and then we'll be able to put different Legos on display there um, because we've got all the Harry Potter Legos out here. And then we've got a lot of hidden side ones, and it's just kind of like really, really full of Legos. And then we still have the sets that we got 
for Christmas. Plus we have the space station one as well that we still need to put together. So we need a little bit more storage and I think those shelves are gonna work great. So because it's later in the afternoon and we haven't started on the basement project yet, we feel like we don't wanna get into it and we're not quite in the headspace to take it on. So I think what we're gonna do is actually go down and hang out with my parents for a while. I have a couple crafting projects that I need to do for some upcoming box swaps and I wanna get those done so I can get them out in the mail this next week. So I think we're gonna go work on that tonight and like just make tacos and hang out. And then tomorrow we will like hardcore focus in on getting the basement crafting corner project taken care of. So that is what is the plan for the evening. So we're gonna go run a couple errands and head down to my parents' house. We did a really quick stop at Walmart to get some taco shells for dinner, but we had to go through all the toys too. And they had these on clearance and they had these on clearance. I'm gonna put these away for our 4th of July trip. This was super fun. They had Kathy Copter. And then they had color changers. So I got some of these. I got the coffee ones and the tumblers to do for crafting. Wally's gonna open up this Monster Jam Mini cause it looks cool. And he got a new car. And daddy also let him get fuel and fire. We thought this was cool because it can actually go through the track. So he was excited to get okay. that. What's in I, there? I already it open a little oh, what bit. What is it? What'd you get? Oh. oh, look at it, it's the Monster Mutt. Uh -oh. <gasps> that is so cool, buddy. I really like this Wait, guy. While he's doing a magic trick we for us. Made it, made it hit one now. I want to make it floating out. Come to the Whoa. Whoa! How does he do it? Now I will tell you. Okay. They are magnetic. They're magnetic coins? And, and it's metal indeed. And then they oh. get attached to the metal again. Oh, right metal to sticks to magnets? That's how it works? Uh, I can't keep the metal in my hand. Oh, oh ta-da! All right, we're just getting back from my parents' house and apparently it's snowing. It was not snowing at all down there, but I'm running into the grocery store quick on a quest to find gluten-free Oreos. So here's all the Oreos. Don't. See any gluten-free ones? Ta-da! They do exist. I found them right on the end cap. I am so excited. I'm getting one regular and one double stuffed. It's snowing. You brought some snow inside. You brought some snow inside. What? Your whole seat's unbuckled? Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 How I would get back? I don't know. Your mommy's going to be so mad at you. <laughs> you think your mommy's going to be mad at you? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on tight, buddy. All right, well, here they are. I'm so excited about this. It's been a long time since I've had an Oreo. Down. So I got the regular oh. and... The double stuffed right. and we're gonna do it with a dunk test this is almond milk yeah. because we don't drink regular milk in our house so i've yeah. never actually tried an oreo yeah. with non-dairy yeah. milk yeah. so we'll see yeah. uh, but uh, let's try them are you so excited yeah. when they are down my my whole body <laughs> okay I bet so there you go i'm so excited no hold on just a minute i'm gonna do the dunk test just a minute okay so here's here it is a, a freaking Oreo cookie. I'm so excited about this. This smells like an Oreo. Let's see if it tastes like an Oreo. I drop my hole. All right, here we go. Where is the dunk it? I was an Oreo cookie, Wally. Can I try to dunk it? Mm, no. Do you even know how to dunk an Oreo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that works. But the real way to dunk an Oreo... Gotta put it in there. 
I'm gonna mm. soak a little bit. Mm. 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 My oil. There we go. My, tap my oil. Oh my gosh. Mm. I've missed Oreos so much. Mm. Wow. I've had like mm. the Glutino mm. faux Oreos, but it ain't an Oreo. That's an Oreo. Well, somebody's drinking on my milk. Uh, <laughs> my milk. I can't do a dunk test if you drink on my milk. Go figure. Gluten free mm. Oreos will come out. But I'm finally ready to start mm. losing weight and start a calorie counting. Go. Why? Why? Mm. All right, well, it is the next morning. It's Sunday morning, and we realized we completely <laughs> forgot to close the vlog out last night. We are having a lazy start to our Sunday. We ended up staying up until 2.15 in the morning playing, playing Luigi's Luigi Mansion, Mansion while he fell asleep. So he didn't even get to see any of it, but we just kept going because we were totally into it. So yeah. we are going to get our Sunday started. I cannot honestly even remember what we did the last four days. So it's always kind of a surprise when I edit the vlog. I'm like, oh, oh. that's right. That's what we did this week. <laughs> this is the wonderful world of Walter. We love you just the way you are. Bye. bye. Go say bye. Say goodbye. Bye.